Today, we are going to be smoking the new cigar from my brother Eric Espinosa, the 601 La Bamba Warhead 9. And I already got a problem with this. As soon as I picked it up, I'm going to tell you what my problem is. Oh, I got a problem. Shout out to my brother, Tim Rollins. We're going to pose for the thumbnail. Oh, wait a minute. I got too many damn fingers in there. Let me get less fingers in there so we can pose for the thumbnail. What's my problem? Somebody tell me what my problem might be. I looked at it and I said... Which end of this damn thing do you like? So I had to get another cigar for a comparison. I got that La Domita up there, and I said, and this is really how I initially was going to cut this in and start smoking from that end, but ah, that's the end we gotta cut from. We gotta start from this end down here. We gotta snip it up here, so we're gonna have to take the uh, band off quite, 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 quite early. My man is over here cutting his lawn. Shout out to my brother Cowboy over Cowboyism. We're going to do what we do. Shout out to my brother Ace. Shout out to my brother Stone over at Smoke World. Shout out to my brother Dante at Cigar Recon. So now, Latanya told me the other day. Oh, hold on. I'm going to tell you what she told me the other day. Y'all hang on. It's your boy, Lee Mac 12, baby, and I am here with another great cigar, hopefully on another great day, definitely, and we are here to smoke and to chill. That's what we are doing. It's hot out here today, family. I forgot my sweat rag. Shout out to my brother, Matt Bailey. So let me get on to what Latanya told me. Latanya said, look at here now. You can't be shouting out people. You start shouting out people individually, and then you forget somebody, and then you miss somebody. And if I was somebody who you missed, I would start feeling some type of way. It's like the old Baptist preacher when they start calling people out. You know somebody gonna get left out. But, you know, as my mind goes to certain people, then I shout out certain people. And then sometimes she said, but well, here's what she did tell me. And look at here. As long as you don't forget to shout me out, I'm okay with the rest of the people, but I'm just telling you what you should stop doing because you're going to forget some people. So, whatever. Whatever. It is what it is. I usually will go through the people that leave comments on my on my channel and I'll see them and I'll shout out certain people like my man Kerry Key. We normally used to see Kerry Key every Sunday at two o'clock and the life got busy for him. He wasn't around for a while, but he showed up this past Sunday. What's up, bro, Kerry? So, you know, I gotta shout him out. Shout out to Marvin Wilkes. Shout out to El Marino. Shout out to my brother, my nephew, Tanel Edwards. Ronald DT, what's going on? Nate M, what's happening, Nate? I see you out there, driver. CK is always in the house. Dion Smith, my shipmate, is in the house. So there's a whole lot of folks in the uh, in the house. Shout out to my brother. He says, I am not ashamed of the gospel. So shout out to you and my man, legendary. It's a lot of people that we can shout out. Not everybody gets shouted out all the time, but every once in a while, you might get shouted out. So watch every single video. But anyway, today we're smoking a 601 La Bamba. It is a uh, Puro. It's got a Nicaraguan. It's a Nicaraguan Puro. It's got a uh, broadleaf wrapper on it. It's made at the AJ San Lautano factory in Ocata, Nicaragua. Musty old electronics. All right, I had my, here we go. So on the wrapper, musty old electronics. Ooh wee! Y'all just be quiet now. I started playing some video in the background. I told y'all to hush. Uh, old electronics. That's what I'm getting off of it. Mm. 
so I'm gonna leave the band on here when I light it up and I am going to snip the tip we're not gonna get much on the cold draw because what we got here I call it a little nubbin but we have whatever that is called on the end so it doesn't have a whole lot of space to let air draw through that same old electronics musty tobacco on the cold draw trying to wait for my dog to start barking because she's going to bark because somebody's getting ready to get out the car across the street so let me go talk about the pairing today i'm gonna tell you what i'm pairing and why i am pairing what i'm pairing what i'm pairing goes along with the it goes along with the weather and what i expect out of the cigar we want to take you high yeah it's hot out here today. It's hot out here. It's humid out here. This is probably what I expect to be a strong Nicaraguan cigar. I'm sweating already just from the heat and the humidity. So what I got today is from Adroit Theory. We have the Immersion. This is part of their Ghost Immersion. This is a Czech style Pilsner. 5.2% alcohol by volume. I needed something that is a proper pint full pint uh I, it's, I got it sitting on ice over here so i needed something that was going to be nice cool not high in alcohol and it was going to uh just you know let me sit back and chill but shout out to brother dexter shout out to you brother drexter you know brother dexter always gets a shout out certain people always get a shout out that's it shout out to aaron brooks Shout out, he's the number one man out there in Kansas City. Shout out to Lee Hill, a close second. Shout out to my brother Cowboy from uh, St. Louis. And shout out to my nephew, Ron Real TV, Tennessee. So listen, I shout out who I want to shout out, who I remember, and it's all good. We can really light this thing up, brothers and sisters. Shout out to you, Michelle. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Here! Go, let's go, y'all. I think I got a lighter. Yeah, I think we got some fuel. Let's go. Mm. As you light this, right, as you go around the front here, you feel the draw open up on it. Okay. Very nice. Straight ahead. Four on the floor. Tobacco. AJ Fernandez. That's what it is right now. So since it's cold, we're going to right away, we're going to get into this beer. Slight, slight black pepper. Slight black pepper. Can't really tell that there's any strength to it right now. Just got it started, so I'm gonna say no strength. This is a uh, six by 56 Perfecto, is uh, $13 MSRP. I tell you, my man is like, uh, he's starting to hit me with the prices. I think I paid $13.50. And how I'm paying over MSRP, that's what I want to know. Starting to feel a little bit in the back of my head. Let me get a sip of the beer so I can cool off and calm the hell down. Uh, that's on the ice, but I really need that to be a lot colder. Just one of those days, family. Hell brings out a little bit of it with the beer. Mm. A little toast, a little vanilla, a little black pepper. On a 
retro hail is nice. The retro hail is nice. Not too strong just yet, but I'm just getting started. Now I'm gonna tell you for this is the La Bamba nine. So for La Bamba all the way up to maybe one before this nine, I typically would not smoke them. Warhead, La Bamba, Super Tornado, Super Blow the back of your friggin' head off. That don't sound like something that I want to smoke. So I never smoked these cigars until I did finally smoke one and said, you know what, it's not so bad. So the name was just kind of scaring me off of it. There's like, when I say toast, I'm gonna say dark toast. So not some light skin toast. I'm talking about some toast like I like a little bit on the brown. You got a little bit of black in there, a little char. The drawer is very nice. It also it brings out some sweetness as well. But it's sweetness correctly balanced with the spice, so very nice. Cowboy, my neighbor's getting ready to start mowing the lawn next door. All right, y'all. Hopefully he gets to the other side real quick. Y'all hang on. But I said uh, I wasn't feeling the strength. We ain't really got started on this one real good yet. Ah, I'm feeling the strength. Yeah, I'm feeling it. But it's got a nice, on the finish, the finish is kind of clean and crisp. It's slight green. When I say green, I mean chlorophyll. So I'm gonna say slight chlorophyll. And that chlorophyll is giving me a slight bit of mineral, just very slight, not much. Popcorn. I know. I know. I got to put it in there, though. Popcorn. Good smoke output. Now this the way the shape is, it is wider here and it gets thinner. So I'm thinking that it's going to start picking up in strength as we get further down here. So we'll see. Y'all hang on. All right, all right, family. We are still smoking the La Bamba, the Warhead 9. And so far it's not warheading me. It's not blowing my head off the back. Good cigar, solid. Four on the floor plus. It's got a solid Nicaraguan core to it. That broad leaf is kicking up a nice, even bit of flavor. The complexity is, uh, you heard all the different flavors that I talked about. It's leaving a nice kind of medium finish on my tongue with the uh, black pepper. Pepper's starting to pick up on the retro hail, but it's not that La Bamba type pepper. Kaboom! And blow your damn nostrils out. But it lasts. Wait a minute. It's creeping. Oh, it kind of creeps on you. The ash is holding on very well. Very, very well. Uh, I'm not going to tap it off. I, <coughs> I am... Uh, I think I'm starting to feel the nicotine. The beer is nice, beer is nice, it's nice and crisp, washes off my palate. Also is a nice pairing with the cigar. Shout out to my brother Ace, he said, you gotta let them dimes stack. You see the dimes stack in there. I usually gotta push my ash off after a little while. 
So tell me, do y'all let the ash stack up or do you uh, push off your push off your ash? Put it down in the comments. Let me know what you do. You let them stack up or do you push it off when it gets a certain length? And the second part of that question is, after you push the ash off, do you feel like the cigar smokes the same or does it smoke different? Is it a little better, is it a little worse? So I've heard, and again, I'm no aficionado, I'm just a man on my front porch today smoking a cigar. I've heard when you have the ash on there, it keeps the cherry cool. And the cigar smokes better when it's cool. I don't know. You get some people that every puff, they're rubbing the ash, rubbing the ash, rubbing the ash. I don't know. We shall see. But you know what we always say, smoke what you like and smoke it how you like. However you feel like smoking it, that's how you smoke it. Oops. And the ash just fell off, so there you go. Now I'm gonna tell you what I do when my ash falls off, after it falls off, right after it falls off, what I typically do is I give it a little foot heat. So I will kind of give a little heat around the uh, wrapper to make sure that that gets burning good. The inside is burning okay, but I'll give it a little bit of heat around the wrapper. And usually that's all I'll have to do. So once the ash falls off, that's it. If, the, if it's still smoking well and burning well when the ash falls off, I leave it alone. All right, so this cigar is $13, MSRP $13. Let me look it up and see if I can find it at another spot. See what somebody else is selling it for. A bomba warhead nine. Let's see what let's see what they're doing over here at my brothers over at Neptune. Thirteen dollars. So I don't know. Cigar prices are going up, family. Um, another great day, teach your own. I have available Pro provider cigar shop. Go over there. You can pick up some for twelve dollars. I got a great twelve dollars cigar. Uh, I will tell you this. I'll put my $12 cigar up against this $13 cigar every single day. Anybody that smoked it, you let them know what I'm talking about. Hey family, it's me again. Better get your chicharrones before they're gone. Provide a cigar club. The link is in the description and probably somewhere on the stream if we might put it there. But again, get your chicharrones before they are gone because you're going to call me and say, oh, do Latanya have any? I pay double. Why pay double when you can pay single? Provide a cigar club.com. Yeah, but prices are going up. A lot of cigar companies this year, they raised their prices and they let you know that the prices were going up. Prices of everything is going up. So it's to be expected. So that's, I'm, I'm really struggling right now. I'm trying to think about my numbers. I'm trying to think about what do I think about the price. $13, 10 to 13 is probably gonna be about average these days. This is on the high end of average on the price. It's a good cigar. Um, this doesn't need any more rest. It's ready to go right out the box. No ammonia. It's a very nice blend, very consistent, very smooth. It's got some creaminess in there with that flavors, dark flavors. It's like a very good Maduro cigar, very good Maduro cigar. Now, I can't feel that, I can't say I feel that it's getting stronger as it's tapering down just yet, but we'll see how it goes. We'll see. Hey, Cowboy, they weed whacking now. <laughs> hey, if y'all ain't checked out my boy Cowboyism with a K, Cowboyism, go over there and check out my brother Cowboyism. He do some reviews every once in a while. Sometimes he hangs out over at Montre's, over at the lounge. He'll be in the lab. He'll be doing some things. And, you know, I took a lesson from you, Cowboy. We did a review the other day, Cigar Food and Parents, with my brother Smoke over at Smoke World Podcast. And we were in the lounge. It got kind of loud at one point. And I said, well, you know, when Cowboy does that, it seems like it turns all right. So, y'all, let's just keep rolling. So, I appreciate the inspiration. Well, family, I've had two chunks of ash fall off of this one. And neither chunk is in the damn ashtray. They're both on the ground. 
I'll tell you, the neighbors over here, like I said, he's mowing three lawns. My neighbor does a, has a lawn service, and he does two of my neighbor's lawns and his own. And just sitting here trying to relax, I will say that the noise gets in the way. When he finishes weed whacking, then they got the blower, and it's just like, oh my God, you give me a fucking headache. It really does mess up the cigar smoking experience. We talked about that the other day on the podcast where, you know, the one brother said he wants to open up a little small private spot where maybe eight, nine people at max in the spot at a time. Because he says, when I go to some of the larger lounges, we have a large lounge near us, it's big, warehouse style, the high ceilings, it's loud in there. I don't know, I kind of like the peacefulness and the quiet when I'm smoking. I want to be able to hear what it is I'm listening to, whether it's music or videos or the conversation of the brother or sister that I'm sitting next to. I don't want to have to holler and scream. We do a party on the final Friday of the night and, <coughs> excuse me, final Friday of the month. And it's tough for me to smoke a cigar and really enjoy it in that environment. Some people like that club environment, some people don't. I'm more of a quiet type person. I like to be able to sit back and enjoy. Right now, it's a little bit of rain, maybe get ready to blow through, the wind is picking up. It's quiet, it'll, it'll be quiet as soon as he finishes. Nice cool breeze, nice beer, sitting here just chilling. That's what I like. I can watch my smoke and just chill. It's a good cigar family. I really am enjoying this one. This one definitely could go back into my rotation. $13 is the struggle that I have with the price, but I'm gonna give it a three and a half on the price. I'm gonna give it a five on the construction. 3.7 on the flavor. Very flavorful cigar. Never once was there any off flavors. No ammonia, no mineral, no bitter, no nothing. Very well blended. It's a very good blend. I like this blend a lot. It's. I'm going to say strength-wise, medium plus. I'm not going to say that it's full strength. I think it's medium plus, but it's a good medium plus. It kind of starts medium plus, it stays medium plus. Overall smoking experience, 3.7. Now I got to put all those numbers into my handy dandy spreadsheet and give you the final number on that one. All right, that gives this one a 3.92 out of five on the Lee Mac 912 scale. Brother Eric did a good job on this one. I appreciate it. And listen, and Brother Eric will know that I, I don't really particularly like every cigar he makes, but that's okay because he makes the cigars that he likes as well. He don't get an attitude if I don't like the cigar. When I sit down with him and talk about it, we'll talk about cigars. He'll talk about his favorite blends. He'll talk about the blends that he made that are maybe not his favorites, and I'll do the same. Some of the things we agree on, some of the things we don't agree on, but it's definitely never crossed. I think Eric is a great guy. I've met him in person, and uh, you know, I love the dude, man. He's a good cigar maker, he's a good guy, and I definitely support him. This is why I bought and reviewed this cigar. Another great day, family. Today was definitely another great day. All right, you know what it is. When you wake up in the morning, you gotta tell yourself, first thing in the morning today is gonna be another great day. Why? Because your subconscious mind doesn't know the difference between the truth and a lie. Shout out to my brother Wood. Brother Wood repeated the saying to me the other day. He said, see, I'm listening. I know you're listening, brother. When you tell your subconscious mind something good, it knows that it's going to be good whether things are going bad around you or not. It's still a great day, and that's what I do. I say that every single day. 16 years, family. I got a hell of a streak going. So I'm going to sit on back. I'm going to smoke the rest of my cigar. This is by Adroit Theory, the beer. It is the Immersion Czech Style Pilsner. Good beer for a hot, humid day. It's uh, not heavy in alcohol, 5.2% alcohol by volume. It is a, uh, a nice beer for a hot, humid day. Uh, it's a full pint. Adroit Theory makes good beers. They're expensive, but they're good. I paid like almost $5 for this can of beer. I know, Latanya, I know, $5. But it's good, though. All right, family, we're going to see y'all again next time. Jada, chill out. We're going to do what we do. I'll see y'all next week. Peace.